Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we'll discuss some features of reduction and fixation in such type of calcaneal fracture with huge displacement. According to the Essex Law Presti classification, this is a ton type fracture. And according to the Sanders classification, this is a type 3 fracture. You can see two fracture lines on coronal CT scan. These lines are in A and B zones, so this is Sanders 3 AB fracture. We can also observe that the lateral articular fragment tends to displace into the ankle joint, so it is necessary to reduce it in open matter through the sinus tarsi approach. At the axial view, we can see various displacement of calcaneal tuber. This situation can potentially lead to such sequelae as post-traumatic deformity. To understand the reduction strategy, let's look at the lateral view of the foot and the sagittal CT scans. Three major fragments are indicated with different colors. Red fragment is so-called constant fragment, which stay in anatomical position. In this case, it includes anterior process, sustentaculum tele, and almost half of the posterior facet. Blue fragment is so-called tongue fragment. It contains a part of posterior facet and the major part of calcaneal tuber, including a hill tendon attachment. And the yellow fragment is calcaneal tuberosity. The first reduction maneuver will be disimpacting and descending of the yellow fragment, which is stuck between red and blue fragments. Then the tongue fragment should be reduced by retaining rotating around the horizontal axis and moving it from lateral to medial. Now the short summary. Due to the fracture pattern we could reduce it in mini-invasive manner, but it was necessary to make a sinus tarsi approach to reduce lateral articular fragment. First of all, through the step incision on the medial surface, I introduced a hook. By the hook I disimpact and pull down the tuberosity fragment. Then I made two step incisions at the lateral surface, one to the plantar surface of the constant fragment, and another to the upper surface of the ton fragment. Through these incisions, bone clamp was introduced and the ton fragment was reduced. After reduction, provisional wire fixation took place. Then two thick wires for cannulated screws were introduced. We used Synthes 6.5 mm full threaded screws. We used a method of screw installation, which was described by our colleagues from Austria. You can find it on Vumedi website. It is a very cute method of screw placement. Now you see drilling and screw installation. It is important to know that screw's head must be sunk into the bone, otherwise there is a high risk that walking will be painful until the screws will be removed. And the last maneuvers are reduction and fixation of the lateral articular fragment through the sinus tarsi approach and fixation the tuberosity fragment by 3.5 mm screws. Installation was not perfect as you can see on the picture and we thought about soon removal of the screw due to its prominence. This is final x-ray. After two months he started walking with full weight bearing. He refused to visit our hospital for the follow-up, but we could contact him by phone. At fourth month after surgery he returned to work. He said that he was absolutely fine and there is no sense at all to visit hospital anymore. So we estimate this case as finished and well done. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share your opinion. Bye.